Hello, sweetest potato. With longer days and summer upon us, what better time is there for us to glow up with the sun? With the overwhelming amount of content fighting for our precious attention every day, showing us how others are living and oftentimes being told how we should be living our lives, it can be easy to forget that we have all the tools within us and around us to be the wonderful humans we want to be and live the life we want to live. I'm starting my day like every other day with skincare and just like how we all have skin, we all have varying skin types and concerns along with preferences for what products we like depending on its texture, how it feels and if they're effective. While a product may work perfectly well for me, that same product may not work for you or someone else at all. Just like in life. When we're scrolling more than we're existing, it's easy to compare ourselves to everyone else, fixate on all that we're lacking and should all over ourselves. When in reality, there really isn't a one-size-fits-all solution on how to live our best, most glowed up lives, and that's the beauty of it all. To have the quiet confidence within to know we're perfectly whole as we are, and giving ourselves grace when we navigate the faded ebbs and flows of being human, it's truly in moments of stillness when we're able to slowly begin to connect with our inner magic whether it's meditating, spending time in nature, or meditating while spending time in nature. During this particular season of my life, I'm choosing the last one. When James and I found out our friends were getting married in Japan, we decided to make a little R&R trip out of it, having burned the candle at both ends willingly and knowingly. As I prepped for my move out of New York City, tied up loose ends at work, and actually moved across the country, we wanted to come to Hakone, a mountainous town known for its hot springs because jams is literally one with the onsen. Nature and hot springs are two amazing ways to help everything from our eyes to our bodies and our soul sparkle. It's so weird, but I'm always able to restart my early morning routines whenever I travel far. So thank you jet lag for knocking me out early so that I can wake up naturally before 6am. After some much needed qigong that included lots of gentle stretching, we flow to my favorite part of the day, planning. Although I've gotten much better at working less when traveling, it's hard to fully shut off because that is the career path I chose. I get so creatively inspired being in new places and Jams doesn't really do purely non-work vacations as a founder, which I don't personally mind. Doing this for a few minutes at the start of my day also helps me remember and focus on the one or two most important things I need to get done so we can frolic stress-free later on in the day. Now on to my favorite meal of the day. As you guys can tell, I have a thing for mornings. Starting with a carton of green juice we picked up from one of the many convenience stores packed with fruits and veggies that's amazing for that inside out glow. To further sparkle from within before I share age old Japanese beauty food secrets, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. Having naturally dry and therefore oftentimes dull skin, I finally stumbled upon a product that works from the inside out to help hydrate my skin, helping it truly glow. While I've been keeping up with skincare for the past decade, Ritual's High Sera Capsule is designed to promote skin support from within. It contains two of the best clinically studied ingredients shown to help minimize wrinkles and hydrate skin all in one daily capsule that can be conveniently taken morning or night, with or without food, in a newly introduced vanilla scent. Ritual is also super transparent about where the labeled ingredients come from and why they're included in the formulation so we know exactly what we're putting into our bodies. And yes, this is the same QP that makes the delicious Japanese mayo. If you're looking to enhance your skincare routine from inside out, you can get 20% off your first month of Ritual with Rowena20 by heading over to ritual.com slash Rowena20. Now, time for a real meal. I'm such a fan of Japanese breakfast. After yo-yo dieting throughout my early 20s and more healthily experimenting towards my late 20s, I've landed on the perfect diet for me, being something very close to this bread. Minimally processed whole foods that's very gut friendly like miso and mountain yam. There's a little bit of everything on the food pyramid for that balanced diet here. I also stumbled across an article that says in Japan, it is believed that the first step to beautiful skin is what we put inside our bodies, and I absolutely love that. They go by a diet full of vegetables, fish, and green tea that's also low in meat and sugary foods. 
This honestly makes me feel the best after eating. I'm full but not bloated and my skin just lights up. What I'm eating here is said mountain yam or mountain potato that was made to be a bit more mochi-like. I added some seaweed, scallions, and soy sauce over rice. This was amazing. After breakfast, we set aside some time to check in on our 2023 dreams and systems that we set together earlier in the year. We took turns reflecting on our Q1 and basically Q2 by this point, identifying what went well, what we like to improve on, and providing each other words of encouragement. Let me just say, couples that dream and set systems together, slay together. Okay, Jams was very sweet and said I did a great job working through big transitions of moving, travel planning, and laying the foundation of all that's to come with my life back out west, that I made more of an effort to spend time with friends which led to a more flourishing community, and that I've taken a lot of bold steps to be more creative with my content and it's okay to take a bit longer to produce because we're heading towards new concepts. He's also proud of the emotional and soul-enriching work I've been doing with my coach. What a sweet man. Meanwhile, I applauded him for venting less about being stressed with work because he used to and I'd have very little empathy because I felt he could have better optimized his schedule, to which he told me he just learned to vent less about work to me to prevent conflicts to which we then ended up having a very constructive and productive conversation around this subject because I'd want my partner to be able to share all thoughts, vent or not to vent with me and I'm just glad we're able to make space and allow this conversation to naturally happen and to check in with each other and be open to sharing our thoughts. I've known this about myself for a while, but this served as another reminder that there's more than one way to live a life and that it all comes down to preferences. No one way is better than the other. Letting go of frustrations that's been making you all tense inside. Instant glow that cost zero dollars. At this point, we made our way outside to explore Hakone by feet on the only day we have before we shinkansen to Kyoto for our friend's wedding. Of all the many breathtaking scenery and quirky small milk doors we saw, this kid's energy is the energy to actually glow up. To always remember the child at heart and the child within us all, this is my kid at heart moment. I spent a few years living in Taipei during my childhood and absolutely love, still love, Moss Burgers corn potted soup. When I saw my friend post about hot, I repeat, hot corn soup from vending machines, I made it my sole mission to find this ingenious creation and I was able to accomplish this mission on our first day in Japan. Back to the hotel we go for my coloring class in the afternoon. When we were reviewing our 2023 dreams earlier in the day, I was reminded of my goal of taking myself on an artsy date at least once per month. Growing up, arts and craft days were my favorite school days, and in college, when I was going through it, not really in the best place, I took a design for fundamentals class that included lots of playing with paint, drawing lines, and exacto knifing. This class was one of the only things that was able to help me stay grounded in the present during very turbulent times. In our very distracted world, there's just something so therapeutic about using our right brain and completely focusing on a single task with travels, prepping for the move, and handling off things with my team in New York, this little goal of mine was put on a back burner all year, but we're able to check it off for the month of May. Further indulging in my childhood favorites, if you know, you know this is my favorite pudding. While Jams works on his efficient speech in the back, we actually met at another friend's wedding where he was also the efficient and I fell in love at first listen, if that's even a thing. He wrote the most sweet and thoughtful speech and spoke so elegantly that I knew in my heart I must meet this man. So I told my childhood bestie to introduce us and the rest is history. Cheers to us, cheers to you, and cheers to a simple, glowed up life. Thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring this video. You can get 20% off using my code ROWENA20 at ritual.com slash ROWENA20. Boys hug!